let's have a look at this uh, side of yours. Okay. I guess the most important thing for most people is going to be the free stuff. Yeah. And so if I try it for free, I then uh, I click this link. I'll have to uh, let's click the link. I'll have to then sign up. Mm -hmm. And I've already done all this. I just logged in. Yeah. So I'd sign up. And then I've got some free videos to watch. Exactly. You get 10 days, you can watch some courses. How many can I watch in 10 days? You can watch up to 200 minutes of content, which mm -hmm. is enough to watch usually about one full training course. Okay. If you want to poke around though, you can poke into as many as you want with, okay. within those 200 minutes. Okay. So then uh, you sign up mm -hmm. if you like what you're doing. Uh, and I'll go to the course library. Yep. Yep. So uh, let's have a look down here. Uh, of course, I'll go straight for the, the best stuff you have, MVC. There you go. Also, that's the best stuff. Can I just mention, I really like how you uh, hover over. You have a bit more information, so yeah. I don't have to drill down. But what would be even better? Yes. If you put the picture of the guy who's training. Yeah. Because I'd like to know. Make that a little. And um, I'll just, uh, I'll just, just try to give you a quick example. If I can find one. But this style of effect. Let me just show you. So yeah, just, that's nice. That's yeah, nice. Just yeah. that little effect you yep. could, you could yeah, do. Yeah, very good. Anyway, let's. So on to uh, MVC three. Okay. This good stuff. So I'd, I'd go straight into him. I went into here before, and I went straight for my favorite stuff, which is Razor. Oh, okay. You like Razor, huh? I do. And um, click on there, and now we're in. And I noticed it was uh, Silverlight all the way. Mm -hmm. Uh, Razor has no ties to ESP.net. And that is Scott Allen's voice. Razor, yes, beautiful Mr. voice. Mr. Ode to Code. So, so right. do you have to do any, um, what do they call that with the uh, music? When they when they do some funky stuff to make your voice sound sexy? <laughs> no, we don't have to do that. He sounds sexy straight away. Right. Okay. In fact, he's often compared to Vin Diesel by some of our audience. Oh, is he? <laughs> Yeah, so he gets straight into it. Yeah. General purpose templating engine. Sounds like you can use it anywhere to generate output like HTML. It's just that ASP.NET MVC has implemented a view engine that allows us to use Razor inside of an MVC application to produce HTML. But as I yeah, so you can tell straight away that is different than how you speak at a yeah at a conference event. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it is a lot more succinct and, and you know time is of the essence and videos. Yeah. People get lose patience quickly. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so mm -hmm. they have have some bit of concentration. They sit down there, they they walk through these videos, and they're in business. Once I've done that, let's. What else do I have here? I've got description of who it is. Yeah. Takes him. I nearly watch all the videos before I find out about him. <laughs> all right. Anyway, stop picking on me. <laughs> so then we go to the downloads, and uh, we got the exercise files here. Yes. What is this? Those are all the files you see Scott actually produce in the video. So code files, solution okay. files, things like that. So that is, uh, that's a zip file. Yep. Yeah. All right. So there he is. This is my, um, this is a zip. So I extract that. I double click on this solution file. Yeah. Opens up Visual Studio 2010 and I can look at what I've just seen. Exactly. Perfect. Play around with it on your own machine. Oh, that's really nice. Um, do you know you should have the little zip icon here? Yeah, <laughs> and the PowerPoint one there, <laughs> and PDF. Oh, well, this is a PDF. See, a PDF. I don't want to get a surprise when I click links. So yeah, I want to know what I'm that's getting. That's true. Okay, so we click on slides, and these. This is the PDF. This is the PowerPoint converted to PDF. Correct. Why don't you just give me the PowerPoint, so I can copy them and put them in my in your own presentations. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. Right. So, there you go. Okay, so I've got it all. It's, yeah, that's nice. Gee, he's done a nice job there. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. 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 Well, that's not too different to normal conference material. No, it's not. That's, so it's just the presentation that's a bit different. Right. I mean, if you look mm. at the, I mean, it's very similar to what, in fact, when we started doing this, it was the exact same content that we used in our classroom training events that people right. would pay two, three thousand yeah. dollars a head for. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's really the same material. It's just uh, delivered some, differently. Some guys even more. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, on to the, uh, the pricing. Sure, sure. Uh, so we got the $29, yep. that's the monthly thing. Mm -hmm. The monthly plus, so the monthly plus is showing what I just showed. Yes, which is exercise files, all those goodies. Not much but, for 20 bucks, is but, it? But the 29, 
<laughs> oh, hold on. The 29 a month, though, gets you access to all the courses in the library um, online connected. No, I'm, I was actually being positive for a change. Uh, oh, I, I thought, want I the thought code. Were, I thought that was a dig. Oh, uh, no, I paid 20 <laughs> bucks to get the, get the code. Okay, cool. Like, you know, I'm not that stingy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's another. I'm even thinking of paying for Redgate. Um, what is it? Oh, dot dot. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, uh, reflector. Dot net reflector. Do you yeah, reckon yeah. reflectors worth twenty bucks? I think so. Yeah. 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 Mm, love to all because don't. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd pay twenty <laughs> bucks for just about any tool. Um, but the other thing too here with Monthly Plus is the uh, the recorded webcast. I forgot to tell you about that one. So we actually do weekly webcasts with all of our instructors. Weekly webcast? Yeah, every week. Every Thursday. Really? Yeah, with one of our authors. So it's, it's kind of like that. Yeah, it's live. And it's free, completely free to everyone in the community. You don't have to, you don't have to be a subscriber. There it is right there. But so it's like, for plus subscribers only. Well, that's for the recorded ones. Oh. So the recorded ones go into our library. We store them in our system. Nice. We're paying for delivery for people to watch them. So I can watch the live one for free. For free. But if I want the archive, I pay. Yeah. That's perfect. So this is our way of letting our audience get to know our instructors better. They can actually engage with them a little bit, ask questions. That is great. You know, so that's kind of cool. That's another feature you get with Monthly Plus is you get access to all these things. So where's Scott's one? Um, Scott hasn't done one for a while, it looks like, but uh, you know, he's done, he's done See, some. See, you've got some great topics here. Yeah, yeah. Just resharper tips. Yeah, that was a great Red one, gate, actually. People really control. liked that. Oh, this is perfect stuff. Yeah. And do you find that, like, like you've got vendor stuff in here. Have you got Redgate um, pointing over to here? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. They, they were really keen on, uh, on helping us promote that one. Oh nice, that Denali stuff, oh he is the man. Bob yeah, knows. Bob, uh, Bob the Bosch. He is the best guy at SQL. Yes, he, he is. He is the best. He is very, very good. Yep. And uh, Dave Starr, is he doing your scrum stuff? Yeah, he did our Agile stuff, our scrum courses. Um, he also does a lot with just TFS and yep. Visual Studio. Fantastic! Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got all, all the good guys. Yeah, a lot of good. Hadi yeah. did some stuff for us too recently. Very nice. From yeah. Jeff Brands. Yep. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm impressed. Just looking, I'm not impressed by seeing uh, light switch. But oh, look at this event. C plus <laughs> plus. C plus plus. Well, it's going to come back into uh, oh, you're popularity, doing... isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Kate Gregory. I love Kate. She's uh, my RD sister. Yes, right. yes, she's very good. Awesome. So, um, you've seen the free stuff, seen the paid stuff, you pretty much covered all the bases. Um, I want to ask, do you have, um, where do I put my suggestions? Um, go to contact. Contact? Yeah. I wouldn't think to go there. I know. I know. We're about to introduce a support desk. Right. But this is, this is the way we, uh, we, we take suggestions from people today. And we actually get quite a few of them. <laughs> oh, what about user voice? Uh, user voice is coming. That's that's actually our choice for our uh, support desk. Okay, cool. So, uh, what are you using soon. user voice today for support? No, we're actually going through some initial testing of user voice right now. Yep. But we're planning to introduce it um, towards the end of September. Hmm, very uh, nice. Which is this month? Yeah, towards oh. the end of this month. Awesome. Uh, that sounds good. Yep. Um, what about corporate? Like, I'm a boss of yeah. a company. I want to get my guys doing this. Mm -hmm. You got any tools to whip them? Make sure they're Yeah, yeah so actually, can you click on that pricing page again? So here, um, you know, this is primarily targeted at the individual, but if you look right here, learn You're more You're not going to believe it. I looked at these two orange ones. I saw those, I saw bigger numbers. I, did, you, you I didn't did look it, again. You like scared <laughs> away from them. Yeah, your eyes just went up. Yeah, so down here, I mean, typically our corporates will hone in on these annual plans. If you look at this link here, right. there's a special page that talks more about these features. So if you click on that, um, it kind of highlights the main, you know, the main uh, features that we've, we've put in place for the, the training manager, you know, the, the actual corporation. Uh, license management. For, so for example, a company can come in and buy what we call a corporate subscription because the corporation is the one that owns it and pays for it. They own all the licenses. Mm -hmm. And they, 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 we, we sell them a certain number of licenses that they can then manage themselves. So let's say you bought 20 licenses yep. as part of a corporate subscription. Mm -hmm. You can then use our management portal to then assign those licenses around your team and, and use them however you want. You can assign you know, 20 of them to, 10 pe you know, to, to 20 people for, yep. for three months and then move them over to another 20 people for the next mm -hmm. three months and so forth. So you can do all that kind of stuff. And so, all right, so I'm sold on this, sold on this. This is going to be great. 
What's going on? Yeah, this is our assessment system. So one of the things that we've really struggled with is being able to prove to the company that someone's watched a course and really understood it. So we need some way to validate that, some way to test for understanding. Right. So we've built our own assessment uh, mechanism, which is going to accomplish two things. It lets uh, people pre-test, basically take a pre-assessment before where at? watching That's the nice. course. Yeah. So you kind of see where, where am I before I start watching this thing. And then I can take post-assessments after watching the course and see how much I've improved, how much I've learned. Right. Oh, and, then, and then all that stuff surfaces up in the reports. That's good. I really like that. And yeah. of course, if, I, if every single question was so easy for me, I don't probably need to watch that particular video. Exactly. I do want something else. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. all right. Okay. Well, I'm really happy with that. I have one last question. Sure. You got a lot of these uh, guys, and like I saw that list, but those guys are so different. Their sessions at conferences are incredibly different. Yeah. Uh, do you try to harness them into a, you know, you, do you try to take the, uh, the Kate out of Kate? Or no, do, no, you, do you try to... We embrace their, their uniqueness. Really? And, oh, yeah, absolutely. I thought you would be trying to make them so that they're all, you know, following the plural site method of, I don't know. Well, there's, there's a certain level of structure and consistency to the content mm -hmm. and to, to the deliverables, mm -hmm. but everyone is still very unique and very stylistic in their own, in their own way, right? Mm -hmm. they, I mean, they, they, their personalities shine through in the content and, and their teaching styles shine through. They're not all, they don't all use the same techniques or the same types of demos or things like that. But there is a certain level of consistency that we do strive for. Right. But Kate is still Kate, and, right. and if you enjoy listening to Kate at a conference, yeah. you're gonna love watching her on here. And what about um, uh, like you've got Scott Allen? Yeah. With his Ode to Code, have you noticed does his blogging improve, or you know, like he's spending a lot of time doing this now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think there's a very uh, there's a lot of synergy across you know the types of things that these guys do, right. whether it's conference speaking, writing books, mm -hmm. articles, blogs, um, you know, teaching in the classroom. Mm -hmm. A lot of our guys still like to teach in the classroom and, uh, and consulting, you know, mm -hmm. and you kind of have this cycle of doing all those things. Yep. I think each one of those things makes you better at the other things. And right. Things. So thank you for your time. Hey, thank you, man. Yeah, that was a, a nice run through. I'm, I think uh, developers can really step up. Well, good. I, we hope uh, we we hope to be able to provide some value at at a, at a reasonable price and and continue to to build something that uh, that will will be of value to people. So, anyway, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, this is uh, Adam Kogan, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.